WWJ News Time 311. Governor Whitmer says the disaster this week in the vote counts in the Iowa caucus proves that Michigan's primary should be moved up. The governor says that she's always struggled with the fact that New Hampshire, South Carolina, and Iowa come before our state. Oakland University political science professor Dave Dulio talked about it with WWJ's Sandra McNeil. It's in the interest of any state to be as early in the nominating calendar as possible for one reason, and that's relevance in the process. And that has two prongs. One, relevance with the candidates. We see for for a year or two years, sometimes longer, candidates travel to Iowa. They travel to New Hampshire, and they talk about issues that those voters in those states care about. The other issue of relevance is with the delegate count. The only thing that matters in a presidential nomination is the delegates that a candidate gets in each and every nominating contest. If a, if a state goes too late, they may be in a position where the nominee is already decided. So they, that would mean that the state's primary or caucus could be meaningless. I, I don't think that Michigan is going to be in that situation this time. It seems now after Iowa, before New Hampshire, that um, the Super Tuesday results are, are going to still have a sort of a muddled uh, Democratic primary outcome. So Michigan's the week after that. Michigan should still have a pretty important role in the process this year. It seems like a lot of candidates have already said, well, this means Iowa's irrelevant anyway. Look at Bloomberg. He's not even bothering with Iowa or New Hampshire. Well, I, I think that Bloomberg's strategy is risky because um, at this point, all of the buzz is about Pete Buttigieg, it's about Bernie Sanders, it's about Joe Biden's poor performance. Very few people are talking about Michael Bloomberg. He's waiting until Super Tuesday to really start competing. That might be too late. And I know you mentioned um, in on M Live that a lot of can- candidates have to or are forced to concentrate on Iowa because their campaigns could be dead before they get here. And I see Andrew Yang has fired a bunch of people today because of his poor performance. Correct. And and the the way the primary process is set up, it's it's almost iterative, where candidates spend all this time and energy and money in Iowa and New Hampshire, but and then they have to keep going. And so they need to be able to have good enough results that can turn into fundraising dollars that allow them to go from Iowa to New Hampshire to Nevada, South Carolina. That's Oakland University political science professor Dave Dilio talking about moving up Michigan's presidential primary with News Radio 950's Sandra McNeil.